Well, hey, I'm, my name is Robbie Smith from Redemption Church, and I want to shoot this video to give you some best practices of what we have decided to do at Redemption Church. Of course, we use um, text in church to, um, to say hi and get our guests and do guest follow-up. Of course, we do that. That's working phenomenal, but that's not the purpose of this video. Right behind me, you're going to see a hope ministry. You're going to see a, some boxes on the wall, and uh, in those boxes are all items that cancer patients, people who are in the fight of their life, uh, can receive. We encourage our members to take that box to those individuals. And while there's some coloring books and there's some other Bibles and some other things in there that cancer patients have told us have been helpful for them in their fight with cancer, there's also a little postcard in there. And that postcard has a QR code on it and it says, aim your camera here to receive daily text messages. That's where text in church came, comes in. As a lead pastor, I'm always thinking about staffing and biggest bang for our buck. Here's where Texan Church has really helped us. We have created a ministry that our church can literally go out the doors with those boxes, hand out to people that get diagnosed in their families, coworkers, friends who get diagnosed with cancer. Once they scan that image and they sign up, they receive 365 text messages from us, one a day at 831. I was in a room with 20 cancer survivors and I listened to all of their stories and they all said this, that the way they started the, the day, uh, if it was positive or negative, made the biggest difference in their health and even in their mental health in that day. And so we've set out, one. they get one text message per day at 831, and it goes on for a year. And I'm telling you, we get replies back, we get people back. I even reached out and made a phone call to one of those folks who actually live in Florida. We're from Southern Illinois. They're in Florida and they received one of our boxes, started receiving our messages. Her name is Dixie Hadley. And so Dixie um, told me one day, she said, I called, I texted her, I said, hey, would it be all right if I called? I just wanna get a status update on your health. I've never personally met D Dixie, but um, we met over the phone that day and she let me know, I've been cured, I'm healed, I don't have cancer. The reason I've never stopped your text and church messages is because um, they're an inspiration to me and I absolutely love them. So if you want a ministry that does not require any staff person once it's set up, then text in church and uh, is the way to go. And so we're so thankful that we're helping people in the worst fight of life by giving them Bible verses. We're giving them inspirational uh, quotes from people. We're giving them special messages from our staff. And get this, it's all automated. A 365 text message automation. So guys, that's one of the best practices we've had. God bless you. Thank you for making a difference in the kingdom.